drawing and art were the only thing I ever wanted to do. I don't think there was ever any choice in the matter. Um, I remember having a rather uh, vocal, uh, loud discussion with my mother one time about that when I was pretty small. I, I told her that I was an artist and she said, no, you're a kid. And I said, well, I'm a kid artist then. I've been surprised. I've been going through some old sketchbooks and I found tiny little sketches like this big of some of my major drawings that in, ended up being large and actually and very successful and widely published and admired. And it just started as a little thing I, I drew uh, kind of for myself in that moment. I mean, I draw on tablecloths. I draw on, uh, you know, paper napkins. I've done sketches for some of my best drawings on a napkin in a diner. I was disappointed in college when I had the Janssen textbook, this enormous textbook. I had a great, great teacher. And the whole pre-Raphaelite thing did not exist in the Janssen textbook. And that is a, a period that I and feel specifically in tune with the symbolists, you know, Dante, Gabriel Rossetti, um, Byrne Jones. But I love the thought and I love the effort that they were making to bring a spiritual into art and to express. Uh, they're so clearly painted to be beautiful. And some people resist that and find it corny. I don't. I'm, I'm like, I love you. I thank you so beautiful. Thank you for doing that. One of the biggest compliments I ever got was a friend of mine described my um, work as a combination of Tom of Finland and Botticelli. I really, really love that and it has been, if I could put a review of my work, <laughs> that would be the headline. Um, I, I've, I strive for beauty. That is my goal. Where Beardsley said, if I'm not grotesque, I'm nothing. I would say if I'm not, my work is not beautiful, it's nothing. That's my goal.